Alright, so I'm going to do my first uh, tech tip on this program called Actual Multiple Monitors. And uh, you get it from from actualtools.com. And it costs money. You know, it's a pretty uh, extensive program. And there's a free version, but I'm just going to show you the pro version. And um, what this does, well, the main reason I use it is that when you have two monitors, uh, the Windows default is just to have your taskbar on your primary monitor. So all your applications are on this one taskbar. What th this does is it mirrors a second taskbar onto your second monitor and puts the applications that are on each screen onto the taskbar of the monitor it's on. So you see I have this program on here move it over to this screen it comes up over here and it's just basically for organization alright so just to show you the multiple uh, monitor taskbar taskbar over on this side gives me the same exact thing over on this side it just makes it helpful when you're playing full screen games in this monitor um, that you can like open up programs when you alt tab so not all games that are full screen will uh, actually minimize. They'll just go into the background. And when it's in the background, you can't see your icon. So it lets you launch programs from here. You can, can search. It's the same exact thing. All right, so the main uh, point of this is for the multi-monitor taskbar. Um, the options that go with this are mirroring your taskbar to each side, which is just duplicating it, basically. Um, enable pinning. That's like Windows 7 feature of putting these down here. Programs you can pin on there and they always be there. Um, we place the taskbar that just places it with uh, their taskbar. But you can take this and you can make it any way you want and you can use any of these built-in programs. You can integrate to Windows and stuff like that. You can even choose how long you can uh, preview a show on your desktop. That's preview. So it also gives you your uh, monitor layout and settings. It's almost the same as um, the Windows default. It shows each your monitors. You can identify which one's which. Um, you get to see the resolution of each monitor. You can choose color quality and the refresh rate and stuff like that. I'll turn this one up to 75 right now, actually. All right. That looked cool. Just kind of got a little switch on me. But uh, yeah, um, it gives you a option to configure uh, multiple monitor backgrounds. So with the Windows default, as you can see, each background is just a mirror of each other. They have the same background. Um, here you can choose each um, da or monitor. Um, independently and put different pictures on each uh, screensaver you can do the same thing uh, no, Windows default will only put the screensaver on your um, primary monitor and uh, turn off the secondary monitor uh, this will be able to put the screensaver over both monitors if you want it's not really useful but there's that um, these profiles you can set up these are just different um, configurations you can save and then switch between them. I don't want to use one, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Uh, mirroring. This is if you want to like duplicate your uh, mouse pointer onto the uh, other monitor. And this would only be helpful if you were actually mirroring both monitors to show the same thing. Not very useful if uh, you're actually using both monitors. And the last is, it gives you a bunch of um, uh, keybinds you can use to switch different things. So you can move your mouse to the next monitor, move it to the primary monitor. You can lock the mouse in certain monitors. So yeah, there's just basics you can do. So Windows settings are for uh, actual windows in the operating system. And um, what this does is that it'll change your window position to uh, either your primary monitor or wherever you want it to be for the default. Um, after you move windows to different monitors, you can choose to keep the aspect ratio or change it to the ratio of uh, the monitor it's on. 
um, the buttons, which are these up here, which come with um, uh, this program. You can tell it to move to the other monitor, move back, and uh, so just easy things like that. Um, you can even do specific settings for certain programs. So there's that, and you can also exclude certain programs if you don't want them to be messed with. So in the options, you just have your uh, basic, you know, program options, language, start at the starting for your computer, um, window snapping. This will snap windows between 10 pixels. You can set to whatever you want. Snap to grid if you want. Uh, use arrow style, which is this stuff down here. Um, you can set hotkeys to get to your desktop profiles. There's a lot of uh, different options you can have in here. Um, mouse hotkeys if you want. Uh, these title buttons, which are uh, these things up here I showed you earlier. Maximize to the desktop. Put on one monitor, etc., etc. Um, command prompt windows. This is kind of important to have on because in order to use the um, taskbars, it has to be able to use the debug uh, file from the command prompt. So you have to give it permission to do that. So uh, overall, I mean, this is a nice program. I it's basically a must-have for me if you have a dual monitor or even more than two two monitors. Um, I also like this too because you can send your configuration files in an email and uh, the person that gets it can just open it up and have the same configuration that you have. So yeah, if you have dual monitors, get this program.